Today, I'm gonna to go through how to use one of the most powerful websites for traders, which is also known as Finviz. Hi, this is Mosh. Today, I'm gonna to go through how I use Finviz to find stocks to trade. I'll also give a brief tutorial on the overview of Finviz and what certain things mean on the website and how to use a screener to find stocks to trade. I only use Finviz for my short term leverage trades and it's mainly based on a technical analysis. For my long term investments, I always use fundamental analysis and I'll do a video later on about fundamental analysis. Finviz is database, so you're not getting information from a random guy you saw on TikTok promising a stock has a huge upside potential. Requesting information on penny stocks that had huge upside potential with very little downside risk. It's all database. Finviz stands for financial visualization. As you can see, it makes it nice and visual when you jump on the home page. You're bombarded with a lot of information. The home page is what is happening in the stock market on that day. The first thing I look at is I come over here and look at the advancing and declining. The stocks going up versus the stocks going down because generally it gives you a sentiment or the direction the market is going on and you wanna go with the whole market. You don't wanna go against the market. So as we can see, 68.8% is advancing stocks. So stocks going up versus stocks declining. So that shows the market sentiment is quite bullish. You can also see this bit means new highs versus new lows. How many stocks are making new highs and how many stocks are making new lows. So again, that shows it's a very bullish sentiment. This is based on the New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ and the Amex. So it's not including European stocks, UK stocks, Japanese stocks, so it's avoiding those markets. This bit here shows the number of stocks above the moving average, the 50 day moving average. And here you've got the 200 day moving average. And you can see the market is generally bullish. Most stocks or majority of stocks, 71.9% are above the 200 day moving average and 54.3 are above the 50 day moving average. And this is generally bull bear sentiment. So generally the market is bullish. If you're going into a trade, more than likely you wanna be long in that trade. The next thing Finviz shows you is this general heat map of each sector. So you've got the technology sector and you can see most are up. Nvidia and AMD are down. Um, the consumer cyclical stocks, so most are doing pretty well. The biggest ones, Amazon and Tesla, are down. Um, whereas generally, most other markets are in the green as well. They also show you uh, the top gainers and the top losers. And other nice piece of data they give you is basically um, unusual volume. So if there's a massive surge of volume or the most volatile or the most active. So they give you a lot of information. The next thing I do when I'm trying to get involved in a stock is I go to this bit here called the groups. This shows you the relative performance on a long term basis, weekly, daily or monthly basis. So you can see the one day relative performance, the energy sector is doing really well. So they're in a recovery at the moment. The industrials and real estate are in the recovery. In terms of one week relative performance, you can see um, what is happening. So at the bottom of that list is basic materials and your consumer defensives. Whereas at the top is the healthcare industry and the one month relative performance. So the energy sector, real estate and technology have made a big recovery. Whereas basic materials, consumer defensive and financials are at the bottom. Now, what I would do when I use a screener, I'd keep this in mind. There's always a rebalancing happening. What that means is sectors go in cycles. I remember a couple of months ago, the energy sector was at the bottom. It was at the bottom of the pile and now it's at the top. So you can see that cycle happening over and over again. That's generally how the stock market works. So what's going to happen probably in a couple of months time, the energy sector, they're going to start pulling money out selling out of that sector and going into probably one of these sectors at the bottom. Remember, if you want a free stock worth up to £100 with trading two on two or free trade, make sure you use my link in the box below. Open up account, deposit £1 and you get a completely free share worth up to £100. So definitely worth doing. Once I've got that, the next thing I go to is the screener. This is where you will find the stocks to trade based on your trading plan. So once you're on the screener, you have these tabs, the descriptive, fundamental and technical and all. Descriptive, as you can see, is the exchange, the market cap, 
industry that you want to look at the fundamental is all about the finances of the company and the funda fundamental analysis and the technical is based on completely technical analysis now if you click on all you can do a mixture of all three now what you do is going to be based on you and how you trade i'm a swing trader and i am in trades for a week up to a month i'm not really a day trader but as i said this is going to be based on you so first thing i do i filter it by market cap if you're not very specific it's going to give you hundreds if not thousands of stocks so you want to filter it down based on how you trade and have like 10, 15, 20 stocks and again filter those out. Now I'm going to show you what I do and how I find my stocks based on my trading method. So I go to market cap first and what I generally do, I tend to choose um, mid over 2 billion uh, market cap plus. So any company that's worth over 2 billion plus I'm going to trade now there's a couple of reasons i choose this is because because most of these companies will have good liquidity okay as you can see it's found 111 pages or 2212 stocks okay so which is vast amount so what i do now is i go to the technical side and i use the relative strength indicator quite a lot the rsi so i want it in the oversold territory so 30 or below so i picked that and you can see now i've got two pages of stock so 29 stocks the next thing i do is i go over here and i filter by volume first i look at the company that has the most amount of volume what you can also do if i go back to descriptive what you can do in the descriptive is go to relative volume and i can filter again over 1.5 relative volume so the ones the companies that have been trading a lot so you can see Citigroup is at the top. It's a big company has a market cap of 144 billion. I would generally avoid these companies because they don't tend to move that much. Um, so look at this one, Vips. Vip Shop Holdings Limited. Okay, I know nothing about the company, but I can see it's had a massive amount of volume and it's down minus 6.66%. So this is a company and it's based in China. This is a company that will interest me. And from 2,000 plus stocks, I've filtered down to eight stocks. So what I'll do, I'll go into it. And what Finviz does, it gives you some technical analysis and charting. Once you're in the stock, and this is the daily chart, it's giving you some chart analysis as well, already pre-done. And on there, you'll find the pink line, which is the moving average, 20-day moving average. The orange, the 50-day moving average, almost yellowish line, which I'm struggling to see is a 200 day moving average. This company is below all the moving averages. You can change it to weekly. Okay, if you want intraday time frames, you have to sign up to the elite. And what I've done is I've put the link in below if you wanna go ahead and use that for the elite. Now, the next thing I do, I quickly do a skim read of all the key information based on it's technical and fundamental analysis. So you can see the current ratio, the quick ratio, the uh, price to earnings ratio. So it's 11.7, .7, which is relatively low. Then what I do, I scroll down and this is what the analysts are saying. So Morgan Stanley on February this year have upgraded it to overweight and their price target is between $14.5 to $33 and the rest have downgraded it before so you can see what the big players are saying about it i don't tend to get involved with what analysis are saying too much now the next key thing i do is this is all the news feeds about this company vips as i said i know nothing about the company and it took a massive dip compared to where it was you know at the high of around 45 dollars and it's now trading around 17 dollars so it's taking a massive hit so there must be a reason why it's taking that much of a hit so what i'll do i'll go through all the news and figure out what has caused that big dip so let's see what happened in may let's open this new tab up and see what they say okay so what i can see is the earnings was better than expected the quarterly earnings however the sales wasn't that good okay so that scared the investors away so that's the reason why it tumbled for me this is looking very interesting it's generally a fairly healthy company from what i can see in terms of its finances 
but it's taken a massive massive dip so what i'll do next is i'll open up trading view and i'll do another video on trading view another day and i'll do a full technical analysis on this but just by looking at this daily graph what i would do if i was to trade it i'd have my stop loss around 15 dollars mark because you can see there's some nice support here okay and my aim would be to profit on the 50 day moving average or even the 20 day moving average which gets it to around 21 dollars so a movement of around 17 dollars to around 21 dollars that's just over a 20% gain, which is very, very healthy. Now, if I go back to my screener, um, Caterpillar is one I'm already invested in. I actually started trading this last week based on the same analysis. And you can see it started to do a nice reversal. And I think by the end of July, it will go beyond its 50 day moving average. So that should give me some nice tidy profits. This is another one which is looking quite good because remember when I went on the groups, the industrial sector wasn't doing that well and it's due for a reversal. So if I go into this company, they've done the chart analysis and I can see these nice dojis forming on the charts which is a good indicator of a reversal. Now, if I have a, just a quick summary of its finances, it is quite heavy on the debt side. It has a lot of debt. The analysis are putting downgrades on it. So that's not looking too good. Some are neutral. And then this is the news. Just by having a quick skim through this, it's due to the pandemic and the trucking industry not doing so well. I think if this company can weather out the next few months, um, this is due for a big, big reversal. I hope you enjoy this video on how to use Finviz. I'll appreciate if you give this video a like, if you learned something and got something out of it.